All right, let me write down our time and we're gonna get going. All right, we are at three. All right, everyone, this is the 2021-22 Upper Deck Artifacts NHL 10 box case number three. I'm gonna read off who has what and then we're gonna get going on this one. Uh, BGO, you got the Ducks and the Avs. Eric, you have the Bruins and the Caps. Jason Smith with the Golden Knights and the Red Wings. Jimson, 15 with the Sharks. JKR, you have the Kings and the Islanders. JRU with the Lightning. Lil J78 with the Blues. M. Leo, you have the Blackhawks. Michael N., you have the Hurricanes, the Oilers, the Penguins, the Jets, and the Canadians. Ryan Gasly, you have the Coyotes, the Flames, the Sabres, the Preds, and the Panthers. Seth, you have the Maple Leafs. Sig, you have the Rangers, the Flyers, the Senators, the Canucks, and the Devils. Steven Surrey with the Stars. Sven, you have the Blue Jackets and the Minnesota Wild. All right, guys, we all good? Let's get going on this. All right, here we go. Good luck, everyone. I'm excited. I broke this product for the first time last week and I really liked it. I thought it was a really cool product. It was a lot of fun. So here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Let me just check something real quick before I Cool. All right. So we got 10 boxes we're doing. Boom. All right, everyone. Good luck. I'm excited. Okay. Let me move this. I have like 85 computer mouses in my, <laughs> in my life. All right, everyone, we're going to be on schedule today. Well, no, I better not. That was, I probably should not have said that. I'm going to jinx it for the rest of them. <laughs> All right. And I forget, I'm pretty sure these ones are, oh, that one was kind of easy to open. I feel like some of them are not as easy to open. So what's going on, everyone? Hockey starts, uh... Well, Sharks and Preds started Friday and Saturday. As a Sharks fan, that did not go the way that I uh, was hoping it would go. <laughs> I wish I was in Prague, at least. But <laughs> so, that's all right. It's still early. It's still early, you know. I don't know like when all the rest of the teams get going. Is that tomorrow? I feel like I keep checking my fantasy hockey and it's like no games today. Does anyone know when it when the rest of the teams officially kick off? Because I need to be locked in and focused on that. Maybe it's tomorrow. I feel like maybe it's tomorrow. Or Wednesday. I don't know. All right, y'all. Here we go. Good luck to everyone. Right off the bat, Mike Richter, Mike Richter, New York Rangers. This is number to 599. There we go. Looking good. Rangers on the board. I like it. Ooh, look at this. There he is. Trevor Zagras. There he is. You know what? There's. Love it. Boom. Number to 499. There's that rookie card for you. Wednesday, maybe, says pick and pair. That's what, okay. Yeah, maybe, huh? I know. I haven't actually looked. I just look at the day and it says no games today. So I haven't actually looked. But yeah, probably Wednesday. Good to know. Alexander Barkov, Florida Panthers, number to 199. Very nice. He 
Here's our auto. It's Simon Ga Gagne. Philadelphia Flyers. Gagne. Always makes me want to sing that song Gangnam Style. Remember that song? <laughs> Every time I see that name. <laughs> Ooh, this is awesome. Okay, Cole Caulfield. This is a rookie artifact, or obviously, but the two jersey uh, swatches right there, number to 799. Very cool. There we go, Montreal. Cole Caulfield, that's your dude. That is your dude, if you're a Canadiens fan. I really like this product. I feel like the cards just look really clean. Simeon Varlamov. Netgear is what this one is called. Going out to the New York Islanders. There we go. We're going to take those ones. Alex Turcotte, Los Angeles Kings, number to 999. Rookie. Get that rookie card. Rounding us out. What do we got here? Johnny Gaudreau, Johnny Hockey. This one is going out to the Calgary Flames, even though he is a former member of the team. It's number to 75. That looks really nice with the red and that foil. There we go. Calgary Flames on the board. That's going to do it for box number one. All right, I like it. Good stuff out of that box. Let's move right along. Going to box number two. Johnny Hockey. It's gonna be. It's gonna take me a while, honestly, to figure out and get used to where these kind of stars in the league ended up on different teams, like Johnny Gautreau being uh, with Columbus. We got Jonathan Huberto who is with the Flames. That one always still, like, kind of catches me off guard when I see that. Brent Burns with the Carolina Hurricanes is going to be tough just because he's a Sharks fan. That's going to be interesting to see him in a different jersey. I just feel like there was a lot of movement in the offseason, which is a good thing. Sometimes you need that movement, but it's going to take me a while to remember <laughs> that certain players are, are playing on different teams. Part of the business. Okay, this is box number two of ten. Got another one of these that's coming up. It's random team style, though. So that one is going to be coming up. And we also have Opeachy happening tonight. Three hockey breaks for you. Usually our typical hockey breaks, Mondays, with me. All right, here we go. Box number two. Good luck to everyone. Elias Pettersson going out to the Vancouver Canucks with that jersey swatch there. NHL Remnants. Pierre-Luc Dubois, Threads of Time. This is going out to the Columbus Blue Jackets. That jersey relic. We got Benoit Oliver Grohl. I have never, I have never found out the pronunciation of this name, <laughs> but it's number to nine ninety nine, and it's going out to the Anaheim Ducks. That's how that's how I've been saying it all this time. So I hope I'm saying it right. But ooh, look at this number to fifty, Ross Colton, Tampa Bay Lightning. That's a nice one. Very nice. There we go. Tampa on the board. All right. Moving right along, you guys. What's this? Oh, we got Wyatt Kalnuck. This is going out to the Chicago Blackhawks. Number to 999. We've got Ty Smith. New Jersey Devils. Number to 499. Did anyone see anyone placed on waivers yesterday? I, I believe that's when the waiver wire came out. Was it yesterday, the day before? That you were shocked at seeing that person placed on waivers. 
Oh, this is nice. Spencer Knight, Florida Panthers, number 299. Oh, I like that. That is a really cool looking card. Awesome. I was a little bummed to see Chris Wagner put on waivers by the Boston Bruins. I was hoping the Sharks would pick him up. I like that guy. Austin Matthews. Look at this. What a sweet looking card. There you go, Toronto. You are on the board with Matthews. Doesn't get much better if you're a Toronto fan, huh? Maybe they'll get out of the first round. If you're a Toronto fan, it actually it could get better for you. <laughs> if they make it out of the first round, like anytime soon. <laughs> this is the year. This is the year. I'm calling it already. Season hasn't, well, it's officially started, but you know. I don't think the Maple Leafs have officially played their first game of the regular season yet. And I'm already going to call it. They're making it out of the first round. I don't care what anybody says. I'm going to put money down on it now. The Maple Leafs are making it out of the first round. That's my hot take. Take it or leave it. <laughs> All right, we are moving on to box number three of 10. Really like this product. It's a nice one. I feel like the cards just look super clean. They're straightforward. There's not a lot going on. I like it. Oh, I still have, I still had the boom rolling that whole time. <laughs> I think we got a couple of new buttons here. It's gonna take me a minute to get used to it. A couple weeks, I'm gonna have to get used to that. All right, guys, here we go. Box number three. Three of ten. Ooh, oh my goodness. Look at this card. That's going to get a star boom for a couple reasons. It's number to three. So that's awesome. It's Jake Gensel, who is my, the star of my fantasy hockey team. And that is just a really, really cool looking patch. I love that card. Congrats. Whoever has the penguins on here. Oh, that is sick. I love the look of this. Jake Gensel. I, I'm call, He better have a career year this, this year for me <laughs> in fantasy. I'm going to call it right now. Number to three. Boom. Love it. Good card. What do we got here? Los Angeles Kings. Drew Doughty. Drew Doughty, Los Angeles Kings with that jersey relic. There we go. NHL remnants. We got Jake Neighbors, St. Louis Blues, number to 9.99. This is number to 75. It's Yanni Gord going out to the Tampa Bay Lightning. Got another numbered card coming up. This one is Uko Pekka Lukonen. Buffalo Sabres, number to 9.99. Next card we got is Jordan Bennington, St. Louis Blues. A couple cards so far for the Blues. It's number to 4.99 for your goaltender. We got Phil the Thrill Kessel <laughs> going out to the Coyotes. This is number to 2.99. He just had a birthday recently, and they made him a hot dog cake. That is a true story. Hot dog, hot dog cake for Phil the Thrill. We've got Ryan O'Reilly. Again, St. Louis Blues. Good box for you. A couple of fun ones here for the Blues. There we go. And rounding us out, it's going to do it. All right. Moving right along. We are moving right along to box number four. All right, guys. 
box number four. Did anyone have anything exciting going on this weekend? I was in Memphis, Tennessee. Has anyone ever been to Memphis? <laughs> Memphis, Tennessee. I like Tennessee. I think there's a lot of good, nice people there. But it was my first time in Memphis. Normally when I'm in Tennessee, I'm in Nashville, so that was fun. But I got back last night at like 10.30, so it was, <laughs> it was a long long day today <laughs> all right guys here we go box number four good luck to everyone connor mcdavid you know what i always you can't not you can't not boom when you get a mcdavid card it's the rules it's what i heard it's like 10 years bad luck if you don't boom when you get a connor mcdavid card so going out to the edmonton oilers with a jersey relic there we go your captain the best player in hockey what do we think yes no maybe so We've got Matt Zuccarello, New York Rangers, the Reds of Time. I still, when I think of him, I still, I mean, there's so many things that I uh, think of with Matt Zuccarello. <laughs> like the Minnesota Wild, not the Rangers. All right, number to 999, we have Mason McTavish. This is going out to your Anaheim Ducks. We've got number to 65, Stammer. It's Steven Stamkos. It's your captain of the Tampa Bay Lightning. I like it. Stanley Cup champion, Steven Stamkos. I guess I should start referring to him as that. Carter Verhage. I feel like I took him on my fantasy team this year. I don't know. The draft was kind of crazy. Jamie Ben going out to the Dallas Stars. I like this. The jersey uh, relic is green. You know, let me put it in that bigger sleeve. So it kind of pops. It kind of stands out a little bit more. I really like that. That's a cool looking card. There you go, Dallas. Ooh, and we are getting right back to it with Quentin Byfield going out to the Los Angeles Kings. This is number 10, 999. For the Kings. Gabe Landeskog, your Stanley Cup champion, Gabe Landeskog. Colorado Avs. Sergey Bobrovsky, this one's going out to the Florida Panthers. It's number to 199. Okay, this is a question for anyone that's in the chat. If you got the chance to see or stand next to take a picture with the Stanley Cup, but your team maybe hasn't won a cup yet or isn't the current cup champion. Are you touching the cup or are you not touching the cup? Is that bad luck that you're going to transfer your t to your team if you do it? Or do you say, forget it. This is once in a lifetime. I'm going to touch the cup. What's your stance on that? I'm curious. Oh, this is a cool looking card. Jake Muzzin. It's going out to the Toronto Maple Leafs. It's number to 65. I love the patching here and the colors. Very cool looking card for Toronto. Boom. I like it. I love this product. All right. That's going to do it for that box. Moving right along. Box number five. I've taken my photo with the Stanley Cup before, and I, I did not touch it. I was too too uh, paranoid and superstitious to, to touch the cup. Do I regret it? A little bit, yes. <laughs> I think if I had the opportunity to take my photo with the cup again, I would, I would, don't tell the sharks this, but I would probably touch the cup this time. <laughs>
someone I know uh, that works in radio was at a concert in Colorado a couple months back, backstage, and a few members of the Avs showed up with the cup, and he got to drink beer from the Stanley Cup, and I don't know that there's anything better in life. I think I think that's kind of like when you go, all right, there's like life's not going to get any better than this. <laughs> <laughs> it's all downhill from there. <laughs> but I would absolutely do that. Hey, Ryan. Um, yeah, so I think it's more so, I don't know as far as like a player standpoint, but more so like a fan standpoint, you know? If if your team hasn't won the cup in a while or ever, it's a sup like superstitious thing to like not touch the cup kind of thing. So I have a photo with it, but it's on a table, so I'm kind of just like leaned next to it. But I mean, who knows, right? It's like that was so long ago, and the team I was rooting for at the time still has not won the cup. So I don't think that's that's a very accurate <laughs> thing. I think I would have been perfectly fine touching the cup. <laughs> Jeremy Swayman, because I am what am I? The Swayman Whisper. That's right. Going out to the Boston Bruins. It's number to 999. Your goaltender who's gonna carry me and have a career year in fantasy hockey. I already feel it. My fantasy hockey goaltender. I need him to have a big year for me. <laughs> Marty Broder. That's a name I haven't heard in a while. New Jersey Devils, number 499. We've got... Okay, now I always am not sure how to say his name. Is it Nietzsche? Martin? Nietzsche? Nietzsche? think either way let's go into the carolina hurricanes number to 299 nietzsche's i don't know that that doesn't sound right to me now i don't know nate no i don't know shay theodore vegas golden knights he is also on my fantasy hockey team so shay better step it up for me this year please my friend <laughs> I'm going to yell at all the players on the card. Natchez. Okay, thanks, DG. Thank you. Okay, okay. Natchez. Awesome. Thank you. Pre appreciate you, DG. Ooh, look at this. Another Jake Gensel one. Wait, didn't we just have a Jake Gensel one like this? What's up with that? Look at this. Same but different, huh? So, pens. Here we go. This is number to 35. Obviously, that patch in there, and you see even some of the thread is hanging down in that. Going on to your Pittsburgh Penguins. Another one for you. Whoever has the pens, I hope you are a Jake Gensel fan. Oh, cool, Ryan. You know what? That's one of the main reasons I still play fantasy. Fantasy sports drive me crazy because I get too competitive with it, but it's so good to learn about, like, who's really making an impact in the league and where players are. So I, I think that's such a good step that you're doing in, in joining fantasy. I think it's huge. <laughs> DG, that was me when I did my draft last week. I literally zero, re like, I can't even express, I did zero research. I did not look at anything before the draft. So, and I think I did, I think I did all right. Not going to lie to you. Dylan Cousins, Buffalo Sabres with that treasured swatches. Yeah, I didn't, I didn't do any research. But I'm in a keeper league, so it's a little different. It's like our main guys are, like, pretty much set already. It's just, you know, picking up a couple goaltenders here and there, maybe someone that you think would be good that somebody didn't keep on their keeper league. So it's a little less intense than if you're just, like, drafting from scratch. <laughs> Pick up anyone who is near McDavid. That's a good strategy. I tried to trade the guy that has McDavid in my league. He's had him since the very beginning, since it's the keeper league, obviously. You know, he hasn't, obviously hasn't dropped him. I tried to trade for him, and he's not taking it at all. He doesn't care. <laughs> I could I could trade him my whole team, and he wouldn't give me McDavid. All right, Radim Sahorna going out to the Pittsburgh Penguins. This is number to 999. Yeah, I have uh, Thatcher Demko as one of my goaltenders. And he tried to trade me McKinnon for Demko. But McKinnon's in center-only position. And I have Sidney Crosby and Vincent Trocek, who are also center-only positions, which drives me nuts in hockey because you could obviously only slot in two centers. So on those days like Sundays or whatever when they're all playing, it's like I have to sit somebody. So I can't take – I mean, I would sit Trocek over McDavid and Crosby, obviously. But I just – I don't like having, cent like, just one – I like them to be center-left wing, center-right wing, something like that. 
they just seem to lose points goalies you got Kane off waivers before he was traded last year too easy <laughs> yeah in our league with goaltenders here's Victor Hedman number to 99 going to the Tampa Bay Lightning goaltenders hold like five or six categories in our league so it's like you need to have good goaltenders or there's no chance you're gonna win I mean our goaltender stats are like game starts wins uh save percentage shutouts and uh, shots shots allowed I think is it no is no what are the cat not shots allowed I forget there's like five or six categories that the goaltenders are responsible for so like you have to have you have to have good goalies which is why I think like I mean I, I think that's probably one of the big reasons the last few years I've been like made it like to third place or gotten close but I just I can't my goalie is just I don't have elite goaltenders I have good goaltenders I don't have elite goaltenders in the league you know I need me like a Vasilevsky or like one of those guys so yeah ours are so there's 12 categories for us so the skater categories are obviously like goals and assists um shorthanded points uh penalty minutes what else is it? Um, gosh, I'm blinking. There's like seven skater categories and five goalie categories. I think I think it, it how it all breaks down. So and then it's like obviously like a keeper league, like I said. So yeah, well that's the thing too with with penalty minutes. It's like sometimes you got a guy on your team who you know is gonna fight every other game or you know is 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 going to get be getting those penalties like roughing or whatever it is you know like fighting like it's huge for you right like anytime someone gets a game misconduct it's like you can pretty much guarantee you're gonna win that category for the week so it's like it's kind of interesting to stack your team you don't you're not just stacking the talent as far as skaters go you're stacking those guys that you know are going to be getting you penalties every game which is yeah kind of a weird strategy so well, so, yeah, 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 I know. Brad is like one of the, yeah, whoever has him will never let him go. All right, we got Jacob Vrana. This is going out to the Detroit Red Wings. It's number to 65. Yeah, my favorite category in it, which isn't a popular one, people want to do away with it, is uh, the shorthanded points category because obviously there's not like a ton of shorties that are scored, but uh, when you get them, it's like, that's my favorite one to get. Jeff Carter, Threads of Time. This one's going out to the Los Angeles Kings. Like Tyler Toffoli, usually I can count on him to get me some shorties. Another Marty Brodeur. This is going out to the Devils, number to 599. Mark Giordano, number to 499, going out to the Flames. Is he still playing? Is Gio still playing? Anybody know? Peter Forsberg, Philadelphia Flyers. It's number to 299. Oh, dang. Yeah. Okay. Shorthanded assist and goal. Yup. There you go. I know. my. So I have Jake Gensel and Sidney Crosby. So on, when those two, when they have good games, it's like crazy how much my team goes off. You know, like if you can get two guys that are on the same line, yeah, that's that's when you can lock in. So Ryan, I hope you're taking notes for your fantasy team. Get get a couple guys that are on the same line. If that if they're good, only if they're good. All right, number nine ninety nine, Alex Barboulet, Tampa Bay Lightning. But then it can kind of go the other way because it's like I don't want anyone else who's on the pens because I can't have three guys on the pens because if they're having a really bad game, then that's gonna just completely take me in the other direction. Maple Leafs for Gio. Awesome. John, thanks for letting me know that. Yeah, okay. He's on the Maple Leafs now. Joel Faraby, number to 499, Philadelphia Flyers. He's someone I used to have on my fantasy team, and I dropped him. <laughs> he was not a keeper for me this year, which is probably mean he's going he's gonna to have a career a career year. I'm listening to you, says Ryan. Good. Sid the Kid. Ah, just talking about him. Number 299, going out to the Pens.
Ooh, here's our auto. Seth Jarvis, Carolina Hurricanes. All right, moving right along. Seven? Yeah, box number seven. Dang, says DG. Is that to the Seth Jarvis auto? Should have bought the canes. <laughs> Well, I'm excited for this week because uh, hockey's going to be in full swing. Sharks have a back-to-back -back home opener on Friday and then another game on Saturday, which is rare to have a back-to-back, -back, but especially, like, right after your home opener. Like, <laughs> whew. <laughs> it's going to be, it's going to be busy. All good. Okay, so right after this, I believe we have another round of artifacts, right? I think it's right after this, but it's random team style. And then right after that, we have Opeachy. I don't know if any spots are left on any of those, but if you want to get in on more hockey, check it out. All right, here we go, guys. David Pasternak. Pasta. Boston Bruins. That jersey relic. Roman Yossi, Nashville Predators, number to 249. Jersey relics for that one. Philip Tomasino, Nashville Predators, number to 999. They beat my Sharks. First two games of the season in Prague. Not thrilled about that, but you know, hey, it's still early. Number to 75, Patrick Kane going out to the Chicago Blackhawks. Moving right along. Let's see what we got. We have got Jacob Bernard Docker. This one is going out to the Ottawa Senators. It's numbered at 999. William Nylander. Nylander, number to 499. I always got to pause before I say that name because I want to call him Nylander. Nylander. That one is going out to the Toronto Maple Leafs. And we've got Pius Suter. Chicago Blackhawks, number to 299. All right, rounding this out. What do we got? What do we got? What do we got? We've got Philip Tomasino again, this time with the auto. It's going out to your National Predators. There we go. And that's it for that box. All right, we got three more, guys. Three more boxes before we move on to our next hockey break. We got three of them today for y'all. Mondays are the best days because they're hockey days, at least in my opinion. All right, three more to go. I feel like this has been a good break so far though huh I feel like we've gotten a lot of stuff seems like the pens and the preds have come up pretty big so far Let's see what else we got
All right. And here we go. Good luck, everyone. Good luck, good luck, good luck. Okay. Seth Jarvis. Now DG's really going to be like, shit about the Canes. <laughs> This is a cool one. This is numbered to three ninety nine dollars with those jersey relics there. But I like the gold and the black. That looks clean. I really like the look of that card. Awesome. There you go, Canes. Whoever has the Canes. I know it's not DG, but whoever has the Canes. Mika Zabenejad, my favorite name in hockey. New York Rangers. That jersey relic. Mika Zabenejad. That was just one card, right? Yeah. I don't know. That one was stuck to it. Anton Lundell. This is numbered to 999, it looks like. Yes, it's a little. You see that last nine is a little, I don't know, peeled up maybe? Not peeled up. Maybe just not printed as hard. But anyway, this one's going out to the Florida Panthers. We've got Anthony Mantha, number 299. This one's going out to the Washington Capitals. Number to 599, Kyle Connor, Winnipeg Jets. Number to 499, Carey Price, goaltender. For the Habs, the Montreal Canadiens. We've got Philip Grubauer, number to 299, Colorado Avalanche. Former member of the Colorado Avalanche, I should say. <laughs> That's tough, right? If you get traded, or no, he wasn't traded. He was part of that expansion, expansion draft with Seattle in the next year. Next year, the Avs won the cup. That's got to be tough, man. Trevor Zegras. There he is. There's the rookie Trevor Zegras. Anaheim Ducks. Nice looking card. And that's going to do it for that box. All right, guys, we got two more left. Two more to go. Here we go. Let me move some of these blank cards out of the way. All right. All right, guys, two more to go. Then we got two more hockey breaks to go after this, but two more in this break right here. Got another Artifacts and um, Opeachy it's coming up. Coming up on this Monday hockey hang. All right, guys. Two left. Here we go. Good luck to everyone. We've got Cole Caulfield, number to 399, going out to the Montreal Canadiens. I love when they put those jersey relics there in different colors. I think it looks so cool. What a nice looking card. Going out to Montreal. Love it. There we go. We've got Miko Rantanen, Colorado Avalanche. Miko Rantanen, those jersey relic, that jersey relic there. Jonathan Dolan, San Jose Sharks, number to ninety-nine. He's no longer with the Sharks. He's one of my favorite players to talk to, so I'm sad about that. Ooh, 
Ooh, look at this throwback. Jerry Cheevers. Boston Bruins. This is number to 65. <laughs> look at that gear. Awesome. That's a red card for Boston. There we go. I love the throwback cards. And they just crack me up to like to see the difference in, in all the gear. All right, we got Shane Pento, Ottawa Senators. It's number to 999. Next, we are rocking with who do we got? Who do we got? Who do we got? Brad Marchand, Boston Bruins, number to 499. Brad Marchand, Brad Marchand. I don't know. I say it both ways, but yes, if you can get him on your fantasy team, Ryan, pick him up. <laughs> He's one you're going to want. Gino. Guinea Malkin, Pittsburgh Penguins, number two, two ninety nine. And rounding us out for this box, we have Brent Burns, Otto, former member of the San Jose Sharks, but nonetheless, it's going to the Sharks. Brent Burns with that auto. That's a nice auto for Brent Burns. I feel like, right? <laughs> Oh, it's pretty good. All right, guys, we got one more box left. Oh, you have Kirill, the Thrill, Kaprizov, Ryan Gasly. That's pretty good. That's a good player to have on your team. I like it. All right, guys, so this is our last box for our first hockey break today, 3 o'clock break. We got two more coming up right after this. So we'll get set for that one. Oh. We got another round of artifacts, which is such a great product. If you didn't get what you wanted in this one, it's random team. So, you know, test your luck out. Come hang out again if there's spots left in that one. And then we also have Opeachy, which is a fun product as well. So we got some more stuff going on. It'll be fun. Come hang out. Come hang out. Last box. Just make sure I had all my stuff. Okay. All right, everyone. Here we go. Here we go. Good luck. Good luck, good luck, good luck. I hope uh, hope this is the best box yet. All right. Let's get it. Boom. Connor Hallibuck. Winnipeg Jets. This is number 2599. Oh, hey. Kirill the Thrill Kaprizov. Ryan Gasly. Look at that. I know you probably don't have him right now, unless you picked the Wild, but there's your dude. Number to 499. Going on to the Minnesota Wild. We've got Miko Rantanen, number to 299. It's going out to the Colorado Avalanche. Ooh, this is a nice one. Mark Shifley with the auto and the Jersey Rollicks. This is number to 45, and it's going out to the Winnipeg Jets. Good box for the Jets. There we go. All right, last side. What do we got? What do we got? We've got, ooh, teammates. Tundra teammates. I love it. Joel Farabee and Jacob Vorchuk. This is going out to the Philadelphia Flyers. It's number 249. I like when they put the dual color jerseys in there. Those little swatches. That looks really nice. Cool. There you go, Philadelphia. Good card for you. And we've got Patrick Liney. Liney, Liney, Liney. Winnipeg Jets. This is a great box for the Jets. 
Threads of Time. What's that, Jersey Relic? Oh, then now where is Patrick? He's on uh, Columbus, no? Is he still there? All right, last few cards, guys. We've got Ryan Merkley, number to 999, going out to the San Jose Sharks. He's been in the shop before, Ryan Merkley. Came in and broke some cards with us here at the shop. Cool dude. Number to 25, Ricard Raquel. This one's going out to the Ducks, even though he is now uh, with the Penguins, I believe. That one is going to the Ducks. And that's it. That's going to do it for us, guys. Thanks for hanging out. Congratulations on the hits. And uh, appreciate you all being here. We have two more hockey breaks coming up soon. So give me just a couple quick minutes on.